come to my channel and here we are going to solve these problems and we are told here that the details of a crank mechanism are given below point f and g are being jointed construct the locus of point p for one complete revolution of the crank ef ef equals 20 millimeters ep equals 50 millimeters fg is um, 90 millimeters and gh is uh, 70 millimeters so that is the question so what we need to do first is to draw a vertical and horizontal uh, center lines so we uh, as you can see here in the diagram so let me put it here so that we can see it so we have a vertical and horizontal uh, center line so uh, lines so I'm going to uh, come up here so I make use of this space so we draw a vertical so a vertical center line then we are going to draw a horizontal uh, center line here so we have this horizontal center line okay so this is the horizontal center line so the next thing that we are going to do is that we take our compass so that we can draw the uh, circle okay so the radius of the circle that is ef as we are told that it is 20 millimeters so we have to take a measurement of 20 millimeters on the ruler so on this ruler i will take 20 millimeters so this is 20 millimeters here okay so then i'm going to draw a circle so we draw a circle of radius 20 millimeters here all right so this is the circle so then we are going to divide the circle into uh, 12 equal parts into 12 equal parts okay so we turn it and we also draw the line from here to here and then so we come here and we draw from here to here all right so we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts as you can see there so the next thing that we are going to do is that so let's label the point as we have here so point f is here so this is where we have point f so here we put f at this point and this is actually point zero so we have one so here we have two this is three so here is four this is five this is six this is seven this is point eight so this is nine this is ten and this is eleven so as we have there now so the next thing that we are going to do is that we need to uh we need to uh, locate this point we need to locate this point so and before we can do that um before we can do that all right so i need to locate this point g and the distance of point sorry point h the distance or distance of point h from the center here is 60 millimeters so which means uh, we need to extend this line so i need to extend this line a little bit okay so here i draw this all right so then i will take 60 millimeters along this line so this is 60 millimeters here okay so along this line i'm going to draw horizontal line so i will draw horizontal line so draw horizontal line from here so as we are given here in the question that the distance of the center line or the vertical center line from h is 90 so i'm going to take a measurement of 90 millimeters on this line so 90 millimeters so looking at this so this is uh, 90 millimeters so here we have 90 millimeters so this point is point h so here we have h at this point so this is point h okay so take note of that so the next thing that we are going to do is to locate point g and as we are told that g is uh distance of g from here to here is 70 so we have gh 70 millimeters now so there's something i need to do for me to draw for me to get that point g so you see how what i'm going to do right now 
So we take a measurement of 70 millimeters on the ruler. 70 millimeters on the ruler. So from here, so this is 70 millimeters. Okay, so this is 70 millimeters. Then I put the point of, of my compass here at H, and then I will draw an arc like this. So we need to draw an arc. So we draw an arc. So like this. Okay. So we have this arc. So as we have there. So the next thing that we are going to do is that. So the next thing that we are going to do is that. So we take a measurement as we have that FG is 90. So we take a measurement of 90 millimeters. So this is 90 millimeters here. So here is 90 millimeters. Okay, so we put it at F here and we make an arc here on this line. So this point here is point G. So this is point G here. So here we have G at this point. So then we have to join FG together. So we join FG together with this zip line. Okay, so actually, so this line, this is line EF. So this is EF, that is the radius of the circle is EF. So I'm going to, to make this line a thick line. Okay, because that is the line that we are given. So we have like that. And then we also have that EF is, sorry, uh, EP. So EP is 50. EP is 50. From here to here, we have taken 20 already. So what I need to do is that from this point, from this point F here, I will take a measurement of 30 millimeters. So EP is 50. So EP is 50. So we already have 20 as the radius of the circle. Then we take 30 millimeters away from point F. So this will give us point P. So this point here is point P. So here we have what we have P at this point. So the next thing that we are going to do is that, that with that 90 that we have taken, so we have 90 in our hand like this. So we put the point here at 1 and we make an arc here. So then I'm going to keep that 90 there. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here. All right, then I will take 20 millimeters again. So this is 20, sorry, 30 millimeters. So this is 30 millimeters. This is the next point. So then we take our compass again, put the midpoint at point 2. You have to do it one by one. So you make an arc on this line. So we have to draw from 2. So from 2. So we draw this line from here to here. And then, so from point 2, we take 30 millimeters on the line. So this is 30 millimeters here. Okay, so this is 30 millimeters. So we take note of that. So next is we put the big point at 3 and we make an arc here. So if I draw a line from 3 and to this point, so from 3 again, I will take 30 millimeters. So this is, I will take 30 millimeters. So this is 30 millimeters here. Okay. All right, so we have that. So next is again, so from 4. So we make an arc here with that 90. So then we draw a straight line from 4 to meet the line on the arc. And from 4, we take 30 millimeters. So this is 30 millimeters here. So this is 30 millimeters. So we have this point. Okay. So next is 5. So from 5. So we make an arc on the line. Then from 5. So we draw a line. Okay, so we draw a line. So we have this. Then we take 30 millimeters from 5. So to this point. So this is 30 millimeters. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll do the rest. Then I'll come back and show you the next thing that we have to do. Alright, so these are the points that we obtain as you can see on the screen. So we now need to join them together with the use of the French curve. So I'm going to do that right now. So just look at how I'm going to do it. So we join. So we can join. So this four points together. Like this. Okay. So then we join 
this point together so I can join this point together okay alright so you join them together like that so then come in here so these two points so these three points I can join them together like this okay then Alright, so then I can join these two points so together like this. Alright, so this is the locus of the point that we are asked to press. As simple as I've done it here, all you need to do is to practice. Thank you and God bless you.